So we're going to go ahead and start developing this site actually on the client's website. She doesn't have one now, so um, we're going to, rather than using a dev s development server, um, actually kind of create it in situ. We're going to be bas basing it in WordPress. <coughs> and one of the things we can do is uh, use a WordPress plugin to make the content available only to logged in people, and that way we don't have to let it show before we're ready to launch. Right now I'm using a, a theme called um, called thematic and thematic isn't just a theme it's actually a theme framework so if we look under appearances we'll see that our current theme is thematic if we click on editor we'll see um, all the template files that make up the theme every theme has a set of template files um, and one of the most and these template files are PHP files although they're you know a mix of HTML and PHP and one of the, the things that are one of the most important of these is of course si style.css style.css is important because it contains the styles for the for the uh, theme of course but also because it has this bit right here and you recognize that this is um, this part makes it into a comment right um, but this is a very special comment that's considered the style header that tells you what the style is and so it has a bunch of things here it has the theme name and the theme URI that is where to find more about the theme and a description and the version and the author and some tags this is particularly important if you're going to put it up in a theme directory, like if you're creating a theme that you might want to sell or, or distribute for free, then this stuff will help people find it and make sense of it. So if you wanted to create your own theme, one of the ways you would need to do that is to start with the CSS file that has this stuff. But we're going to make some a special kind of theme, a theme called a child theme. That is a theme that begins with this as the original one and then grows from it as a child. So again, we have the same kinds of thing name things. Uh, the theme name, the theme URI, the description, the author. But then we have this thing called template. And what template says is go and look at thematic and basically import all of their template files and use them here. So if we save this file, um, style.css, uh, into its own directory right up here, a fair shake. Right now that includes just a functions.php, which is actually for now an empty file, and style.css. Style actually, we should also have a folder that we're going to put our images in, although we don't have any images in there now. So we have only those three things, a folder and those two files. And we will go ahead and um, open up our, our, our FTP client. And you'll see that in, in, a, in FTP we can look under WP content and then uh, themes. And there's a bunch of themes in here, including thematic somewhere else down here. I, I uh, used the uh, DreamHost installer, so there's lots of themes in here. But we're going to create our own theme by, we don't want to drag that into thematic, we want to drag it into the directory. So we're going to create our own theme by uh, dragging in um, a fair shake. Remember that just has that folder and two files in it. And now if we go back here and look at the themes available to us, somewhere up here, there it is, a fair shake. And we can actually activate that. Now if we look at the site itself, it's not very pretty because it doesn't have, it has, although it has the, the, uh, the template files, it doesn't yet have any CSS at all. Um, part of that is because we don't have it. We have an empty CSS thing here. Now we could start putting in body tags and everything else, but we could also do a little bit of a shortcut by importing um, the uh, CSS file from thematic, which is in you know up a, up a level thematic, and then style.css. This gives us all of the styles um, that are available in thematic by default. Update. And now if we take a look at the site, it looks a little bit prettier. Still a very blank site, but that's what Thematic is designed as. So all we've done so far, right, is to basically take Thematic and copy it. But what we can do now is um, build on this and kind of make our changes to this version of it. And there's a number of reasons that uh, I'll go to into on the site that talk about why this is a better way of doing it than actually going in and messing with Thematic itself. It kind of gives us a protected version, a layer over thematic that we can now make our changes to.